Okay, this is uh, Mikhail F five thousand five hundred uh, control block uh, control box slash uh, clock. Um, so this is how we uh, set it up. So if you want to change field now, as you press there, then it goes into this, and you can press this to change the like that, and then you reset, hold it down. And then it's supposed to beep when it goes back to zero. Back to air. In manual now, that's the netting. You hold that down and you watch it, and this turns round and round. This is your knife, um, knives. So you chop it in, uh, you press that down, hold it down, and you operate the pickup spool and up or down. This is the drop floor, the same. And when you put it down, it shows a big picture here that it is down. And you put the blockage through and you lift the bag up and it goes off and then if you go into auto as auto shows you go in you can see a picture of it sort of as you're going then it beeps loudly when it's uh, done and you have a bit of chance to stop then you'll see it automatically that turn and it'll start to net itself then it'll beep to let you know it's done and uh, also when you open the back to let the bail out it let you know when it beeps when it's open and when you know when to start to close it and sometimes you don't actually have to bend back or you know look back all the time you can see it all happening uh, to do the auto now go back uh, go down to main menu okay that's the main menu so that's for oil and grease it's supposed to uh, do 300 bales and you can reset that Press that to reset it, but I don't reset it to Frindo because I've got half a cartridge of grease in it. So. Uh, that's your season bail count. You can reset that. Reset. That's your total then, bales. And as you can see, you can reset that. <laughs> uh, go down then. So the automatic uh, uh, netting part. So that's your delay. So it beeps tell you when it's done, and then you have a bit of time to, uh, until it actually starts to net. So I've set it to 4.5, well I, I messed about it a bit, that was the time it took me to stop, and then for the crop pickup to go fully through, and then it to, to net then. So it wasn't, um, no lumps or anything like that uh, in between the net, because you want to net after the pickup's uh, empty then. I think that's all there, oh yeah. If you go back into the uh, options, go into that. I think that's the diagnostic. Yeah, I think that's the diagnostic bit. You go into um, for the well, and a mechanic can put in the code. I think for that. Because you went to the pin there, so that's a clock. It's a clock there. It's waiting time. Uh, well, not so sure what it is now, but uh, I won't bother that really. So you got a time there. Um, that's for brightness. Okay, that's all the settings, so you can change that back to man manual auto when you want. Um, only thing, do it when the back is closed. If you do it halfway, it sometimes can start to net itself, thinking there's a bail in it. But um, yeah, once the door's closed, you can safely press that then. Back to auto. Um, so if you have a half a bail at the end of the day, you can press manual and net it there. Uh, with this now, you press it down for a bit and then it it uh, engages drive to the net when it's outside and it starts to feed in itself and uh, once it gets a bit around the bale the bale starts to pull it in and it'll um, pull it in the net itself and there's like a manual trip on it uh, and a manual knife in. but uh, sometimes when you've got half a bale as well you have to press it down a bit more to feed a bit more in until it can actually grab it and start to pull it in 
full bail now it's no problem we grab it straight on the first rollers but uh, you know it probably goes down quite a bit before half a bail actually um, starts to grip it so we'll keep that in mind anyway um, yeah and always um, first uh, bail do just watch you'll see if there's like a it's like a trip like a small bailer sort of thing like a hook that rides up on a, a, a wheel then and you'll see that go right at the top and then fall back down. Sometimes if the uh, bushes uh, have stuck a bit, needs a bit of oiling, it'll stay one place and keep on netting, keep on netting. So you have to go out and uh, put a bit of oil in it and free it up with, uh, with the manual, um, the manual uh, override sort of thing. Uh, I might show that now. So this is the um, hook that... Um a metering hook sort of thing and you just this when the stop where it starts uh, more net you want to put that down so it has to travel more for goes this wheel turns around as the net goes in it rides up rides up then this actually goes over top of that and it goes bang down and the blade goes in and chops it so we have this bar here uh, this now you can see the hole there hole in the bar and that, that moves that. And these are the bushes like to tease up either side of the rubber owner. So, the steel right here, there's a plastic bush here, you might need to oil that if it sticks. And use this just to go, just to move it about. So this now, you can actually, if it goes like that, you can lift it right up and you can actually make that go right over manually. But, uh, do that now then to put the net in use this lever push it halfway first that leaves a gap in this roller you can put it in then all the way it moves the second one you can put it down there I got the drawing in there so the net goes um, that's the basics really well, you know. well you're up here there's actually the hinges are here I was grease nipples down down there my finger is and there's one either side to grease up here but uh, that's all you do with uh, grease vat and uh, oil vat if you want